Hey guys, uh, control stick here, you know, floating set of hands. Um, gonna do a little bit different type of video today. Um, you, as you probably, some of you may know, we did reach over the 100 mark, about 147 as the time of recording subscribers. So I do want to thank you guys. And so we'll be talking about the giveaway um, at the end. Um, but I did want to do a little bit different type of video today. I had a couple questions from folks and um, you know, as I'm fairly new to uh, collecting again, I kind of wanted to um, share some of the knowledge I've learned. And if you know it, you know it already. And you can, you know, obviously skip this part, you know, skip that part of the video if you want to. Um, but first, I kind of want to introduce myself. I uh, haven't done that. Hello. It's an extreme close up here. Control Stick, uh, aka Ryan. Um, I am not just a floating set of hands. I'm also. <laughs> also have a face. Um, nice to meet you guys. Um, I used to stream on Twitch. Um, I haven't quite figured out a setup to get everything going that I like so I can do a face on cam as well. But of course if you're scared by that and then I you know get a bunch of thumbs downs or something um, then obviously I will stay off camera and you can just deal with this. But uh, no just kidding. Uh, but anyway, no, I'm a, a collector. I was a collector in the 90s, along with probably a lot of you. Um, you know, we collected a lot of the, you know, the X-Men cards. I know that was always big. Um, you know, Marvel Masterpiece, different things like that. Um, when we were kids, and I was the same way, and then kind of about 96, kind of when you couldn't find them anymore and they stopped making the cards, I stopped and grew up and uh, grew into different things. I started working, things like that. But... Um, yeah, definitely been a fan of Marvel my whole life. And, uh, you know, again, this channel is really just me opening, talking about cards, and, um, and, and I appreciate you guys being along for the journey. So I know everyone loves trivia, and of course we have to start our every video with trivia. Today's trivia question is Avengers or X-Men? Simple as that. There is... As you know, only one right answer. I will cover that answer in the end of the video. Um, of course, again, it's not opinion. This is just fact. Uh, oh, again, kind of as a behind-the-scenes look. If you want to see something scary, oh, man, Control looks like looks like he's so organized and everything. We just zoom out a little bit. Um, that's cards I still need to go through. Sleeve, a.k.a. sleeve, put into binders, everything like that. Um, so if you're like me and you have cards everywhere, uh, I'm sure that's, I'm sure you know the story. Um, so as I said earlier, we are, um, we did hit hundred subscribers. I do appreciate you guys. So we'll be giving away, uh, this Jackal card. It is, um, out of 33, uh, orange checkers from the platinum set. Um, we'll be giving away that away and I'll talk about that at the end of the video, how you can get entered for that. Uh, just as a thank you guys. I honestly didn't think I'd have one person watch these videos and now there's over 140 some subscribed and lots of views and everything. Um, I just appreciate it. I really do. Again, I'm just doing something that I like and I'm glad that you guys like watching as well. So I had a suggestion um, from uh, someone who said uh, you should open um, some mail on camera, you know, some cards that you get in the mail. And and I said, well, that's a good idea. And I kind of, you know, and you wonder why. Oh, well, because he trolled me and sent me, <laughs> sent me, uh, which is now, I guess, going to be my new PC, um, Multiple Man. <laughs> he sent me the Orange Checkers Multiple Man. Uh, he said I should have record, I should have opened it on camera so that he could uh, see the reaction. Um, my reaction really was like, really? What the heck? Are, are we really going there? So. As a troll, he sent me that, and so his suggestion was, hey, you should open some stuff on camera, see what all you got. Um, I don't know what this is, a random stuff. I go, I go into whatnot and definitely uh, am guilty of kind of grabbing random things. Uh, let's see if I got anything cool in this. So these are the Marvel Allure. Um, I have not collected any of these, just the random ones I've got. Um, from different things, but I have not opened any packs or or boxes or anything like that. Let's put Jackal right side up here. Um, it's a different allure there. Uh, it's like a Funko Pop Spider-Man. Um, uh, well, two of that card apparently. Uh, let's see here. 
this. Okay, okay. I was waiting on these. Perfect. Yeah, glad I got to open these. All right. So I got my orange checkers and my on-card auto uh, of Ramsa. Um, this one is 3 out of 33, so cool numbered, and this one is not numbered. Uh, but this is the um, this is the low series, so the original art. Um, so very excited to have these in. I didn't know they were in that package, so uh, I was wondering when they would come in. So I'm glad I got to open those. Um, we got two more packages here. I don't know if these are going to be that exciting. Bought into some case breaks on whatnot, and uh, let's open these on camera. And uh, let's see what we got. Uh, yeah, so I don't know if there's anything big. I don't even remember pulling what I pull. I've been in a lot of different breaks. So there's a purple Emma. There's Venom. It's a nice base card. Uh, some base. Oh, must have been hobby boxes. Or, uh, blaster boxes. Uh, there's a blue tracks Dormammu. Trying to make this video go forever, guys, but uh, did want to open a few things here. Uh, it's a red rainbow. Oh, there's Electra. And then some more base. Base, 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 base. And purple Captain Marvel. And platinum duos, War Machine, and Iron Man. I think I have a lot of those already, but that's all right. If you're looking, if you have doubles need to trade, I am looking for um, the comic covers. The like that 100 set, the What If covers um, from Platinum. There's still quite a few I don't have. I do have all the base set up, but I don't have that. I think the reason people like to see people open stuff on camera is to get, they get to see them struggle with tape, boxes, knives. I always wonder if they're going to cut themselves with it. All right. Uh, this is from another break. Oh, we got another auto there. Sebastian. Yep, Sebastian. And Gamora Rainbow, Falcon Rainbow, Crossbones Yellow. There's a Morbius Red Rainbow. I think that next year was my big hit from that. Oh, no, well, there's out of 35 photon. No, it's not. Why is that black? Oh, it's got the background. Oh, it's like, wow, I pulled that. I don't remember that. Uh, it's got that background of the cosmic, but it is not numbered. That's just the black rainbow. So, all right, you got me there, upper deck. Uh, Blue tracks, uh, black winter there. 449 out of 499. Uh, looks like these are all just base. So that was mail call for today. Um, I do have some really cool cards coming pretty soon. So, um, or at least cool to me. Um, so kind of like to, uh, I'll cover, I'll open those on another video. Okay. Um, so as I said, this is a little bit different kind of video. Um, there's kind of some questions I thought about as I started recollecting again here in the last, you know, five or six months. Um, that I didn't see in a video or at least one video. I saw multiple videos and did a lot of reading a lot of watched a lot of YouTube um, But one of the questions that is always asked and I still see it asked is are my 90s cards worth anything? And the short answer really is probably not Probably not uh, I showed these cards earlier So, you know, these are kind of typical of what you may have had as a kid or you know had in the as in, in the 90s um, You know, they could be worth anywhere, you know, just in bulk you know, 30 to 50 cents or a dollar at most, um, not really worth a whole lot. And then, you know, you had your, um, some of your chase cards from those sets, um, that can be worth a little more, um, and then graded. Um, and I have, um, I think I have actually one, um, one graded here. It's actually gem mint 10 PSA graded, um, uh, that, and I don't know what it's worth. Um, and that's a, that's a seven. So, you know, they does add some value if they are slabbed uh, or graded by, you know, PSA. I think who is who most people um, think of. Beckett or PSA is probably the top, you know, for uh, 
Marvel cards. Uh, CGC also does some slabs. I've got a really nice um, Ghost Spider. Uh, it's a 10 CGC uh, from Marvel Masterpiece. So, um, you know, and so those can be worth some. Now, this is newer, but that those those are older. So if you have some, you, you can have some money there, but generally the short answer is no. Um, and you probably, if you've seen me, you've seen me open, uh, if you've seen my videos, you've seen me open blaster or retail boxes and hobby boxes. Um, hobby boxes generally have going to have more hits, generally. It's, hard, it's difficult to say with this, uh, with this set because... Uh, we, you've seen some fire pulled out of these, um, but typically you're going to get, you know, the bigger hits and you do get more cards, although your price per card is a little better here. You just can't get certain cards usually in your hobby box versus your blaster or retail box. Um, if you can see, still find these, uh, I have not been able to find, I found, I think two loose boxes, uh, my local Walmart stores, um, and just kind of open them off camera. If you can still find them, that's a heck of a rip for 20 bucks. Um, and then of course this is still fun. I've got to open that at some point. But that's kind of that. Um, and again, if I'm boring you guys, you know all this stuff, of course you can skip to the end, but I have had some questions and did want to cover a few things. The next question I had is high series versus low series. What is that? What does that mean? Well, a good example here, of course, Carnage is one of my PC characters. Um, a good example is this platinum set because it has a it has a, a low and a high series. Uh, usually, one or the other is original art versus comic art, um, and a lot of times it's the same character. A lot of times they'll even be numbered the same, like one seventy four and seventy four, and these aren't. Um, but different sets will do that, and um, you know, and it's you know, I really don't know the reason for it, but that is what it is. Low series meaning meaning one through one hundred. And high series meaning 101 through 200, so low and high. And original art, comic art can vary on that. Um, I did forget I wanted to mention, again, another question that was asked a lot is, who do you collect anti-venom? Um, there's not many cards I don't have or don't have coming. Uh, I have several cards coming, um, but it's anti-venom. Uh, not venom. I know a lot of folks like venom, um, but definitely uh, anti-venom. And why did I pick that character? Well, I, I was actually played uh, that Marvel Strike Force game on your phone, and um, there was the symbiote team, and it was a character I'd never heard of. And so I you know, played, and I was like, okay, that guy's pretty cool. And then as I started getting into, and you, if you're new to the hobby, you'll get into it, and you have to make a decision. I can't have all the cards I want. It's just, you know, unless you're a millionaire. You have to pick one, two, three, you know, um, so many PC or personal collection cards, um, and that and I and I saw that he didn't have a lot of cards, and that was maybe something that I could get to a point where I could um, collect most of them, and I I do all but about six of them. Um, the real the really high dollar ones are the ones you can't find. Um, I've got them coming, so I have most of them, and I just I like the art of the character, I like the style of the character, and so that's why I chose that character. And then, as far as my second, uh, you guys have seen with this set, it's obviously it's Carnage. Um, and these are just some different Carnage cards that I pulled out from my collection. I've got a very large stack of, of Carnage. Uh, and he's, he's a pretty popular PC character. Um, something to keep in mind when you're PC and somebody is, can I even find the cards that I want? Yeah, you can. And then, is it a popular character? Well, yes, and that may make the price go up. Say you, you know, say you're a Drax collector. Well, you probably could buy this Drax Auto for not nearly as much money as the, uh, you know, as the Carnage. I paid for the Carnage Auto, so um, you kind of have to make a decision, it, it, you know, what you can afford, what you can, uh, you know, go after, what cards are available, um, and kind of make a decision there. Uh, and that's how I came up with those two. And then I've always liked X-Men and, um, you know, Arc especially Archangel um, and Colossus. And so I pulled out a few of my Archangel and Angel cards here. Most of them from this new set. My other cards are kind of buried away. And uh, Colossus. I always liked Colossus as well. Uh, as a kid, especially. So, that's kind of the four people. Really, the main is Anti-Venom and then Carnage. And then when I see a Colossus or um, Archangel card that I like, I you know, I'll get it. Go after it. But, you know, 
Uh, that's my suggestion is pick a, if you're going to character collect, you know, pick one, two, maybe three or four. But you don't have to have them all. Uh, you, you know, pick the cards you like. And if you don't like the art on something, don't get it. You know, it's totally up to you. Um, so I answered that. Uh, there, I've seen some question as what is short print or super short print. Um, a good example actually is um, one of this, this anti-venom card. It's out of the um, Finding Unicorn Marvel Evolution set. I don't know what that was. Um, and uh, it was a, I believe it's a super short print. So, um, you know, it's numbered 13 out of 16. Um, so I think the lower ones of this set, this gene mutation set, are, um, you know, are, are regular print. And then as you get higher up, toward, closer to 16, it's short print. And then maybe it's 13 through 16, I don't know. Is super short print, so meaning they printed less of them, and there's less available out there. So even though it's not numbered, it's less available, uh, and maybe that adds value or you know whatever. Uh, something that I don't know that can make a difference, or m maybe not. Depends what you care about is on card autos versus sticker autos. So on card autos, um, where the artist or the creator sometimes. Uh, we'll actually just write right on the card and then send it into upper deck. They send them these cards and they write, you know, they'll put their signature on it and send it out. Or um, in this circumstance, this is Jim Starlin. Um, he's had a bunch of sticker sheets and he's written his name on a bunch of stickers and then upper deck can then use these whenever they want to. Um, so, um, you know, you have some people that like the on card or the sticker, um, Usually probably more on card, but ultimately they're both great. They're both very cool. And it's nice to have someone who had a hand in creating either the card, the character, or something. So very cool. Um, printing plates. I pulled one of these here not that long ago and actually couldn't find it. I don't know where. So this is the one I pulled before. Um, but these are cards that are actually literally used to make, um, you know, make these cards. So it touched, if you think about it, this card touched... Every car, every car, every version of this card that went out, or every person that has this, this card, you know, this printing plate was used to make that. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, I don't have any really cool ones I'd love to, um, but I haven't gotten any yet uh, that I really want. So. Uh, so we talked about, you know, picking a PC uh, or, you know, deciding are you a character collector or are you a set collector? Um, you know, and that's where you and, and there's nothing and you nothing that says you can't be both. But then there's like a master set collector, which is a person who's going to get every card, go which you couldn't do probably with Marvel Platinum. Um, definitely some of the '90s cards you could do and very easily. And I have some full sets from the '90s. Uh, maybe I'll share at some point. But um, you know, you can choose to just get the base. And there's some sets um, like Marvel Anime Volume Two. I just Went on eBay and bought just the base cards. Um, didn't want to didn't want to go after any of the inserts or anything like that. So you can certainly choose to go that route, and you kind of have an idea of what the art was like for the, you know, for the cards itself. And um, you know, you can usually get those cards or those sets, and not a lot of money. It's not like buying a bunch of boxes and opening them up and things like that. So that is always an option, you know, so you, you have to decide what you want to do and, and what sets you want to do. I mean, it's not like those allure cards. I, that's not, I don't necessarily like the Marvel Cinematic Universe, um, you know, real life stuff. I'm more of the comic inspired or, um, you know, or original art cards. And that's just what I like. And, you know, and that's, you have to decide what you're into. And if you like it all, buy it all. I mean, that's great. Uh, what else? Oh, sketches. I didn't want to talk about sketches. So, um, of course, these are both anti-venom because that's, you know, again, that's my guy. So there's a, a couple different um, terminologies or, or words that I didn't know anything about when I first started. Um, there's pack pulled, which is literally, you know, this um, babisu, babasu, if I'm saying that correctly, uh, cordis, was um, pulled from a pack of Marvel Beginnings, I believe, 2012. It's on there somewhere. I don't know. Yeah, or maybe it's on the front. Yeah, 12, 2012. So, um, you know, that was actually in a pack and pulled. Uh, and that's 
you know, and that's one way you can get cards. Some people think that's the best way or the, you know, and it's up to you, which you, whatever you like. A second type of, of card is a um, artist proof, and that's the, so upper deck will, when they're sending out these blanks, it has Marvel Beginnings on it, for instance. They'll send out the blanks, and then the artist will work out a deal or will have some left over to where they can do um, upper deck or Marvel approved characters or cards that they can sell themselves, kind of a way that they can make some extra money. Uh, they do the cards, you know, for the set, but then they can also do some other artist proofs on the um, card stock. And then the last um, one that I want to talk about was a commissioned art, and that's just where, um, you know, someone who has talent, uh, like Just Collectibles, Justin, um, you know, will, uh, you can commission them, ask them what you or tell them what you want, and, you know, and then they will, um, you know, draw the character for you. So, um, for me, I really like commissions. You kind of get to personalize um, the sketch, but, you know, again, you're not going to get it from, you know, your, your, uh, your Liddy Lees and your, uh, you know, <laughs> high dollar sketch artists, you're, you're not going to get a commission for the price that you're going to get, but still can get, as you can see, some very excellent cards. Um, as well. So that's an option. Uh, trying to see if there's anything else I wanted to cover. Again, I, this was a different type of video. Um, I was more of a introduce myself that I hadn't really done. Um, not opening anything, which is different for me other than the mail, mail bag. Um, but uh, just appreciate you guys going along for the ride. If this has been totally boring, that is fine. I totally get it. Um, but we are now to the point where we can talk about, uh, the trivia or the trivia. We're going to talk about that too. I know that's more important than the giveaway. Um, but it, as a thank you, I did, I wanted to start someone out. Maybe they can be like me and get a, uh, you know, get the Jackal card and then they can start out a, a personal collection of Jackal cards. Cause I think I want to start multiple man. Um, even if it was a joke, I think I might actually start collecting some multiple man cards. Cause you know, why not? Um, but you can start out a, 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 a with a you know pretty good uh, you know 16 out of 33 only 33 of these and a really good looking card. Um, so in order to um, win this, um, just in the comments, I I just ask one thing: if you just subscribe to the channel, and then just put the hashtag multiple man one word. <laughs> hashtag multiple man. Just make it one word. That will be our our uh, our giveaway um, hashtag, and uh, you have until um, let's do April fifteenth. We'll do we'll tax day. We'll draw it on tax day, uh, and then I will contact the winner um, that way, and and then we'll we'll work out a way to send that. And um, I don't know if your country has if the, if anybody's watching this from other countries if you have any laws against giveaways or something like that I don't want to get in trouble with anybody like there, but I will ship it internationally. Why not? Um, so anyone that wants to just like I ask like I asked just subscribe to the channel, um, and uh, we'll give that away. So appreciate it. Um, big thank you to everybody for watching. Uh, to end things uh, as always, I, we always have to talk about trivia. Only one right answer ever um, and in this question, Avengers or X-Men, of course, the correct answer is X-Men every time. I've been Control Stick. I appreciate you being here with me. Until next time, I'm going dark.